Professional wrestling is all about the finishing moves and every wrestler has one that's their signature. But did you know that there are Easter eggs and hidden details about some of the biggest and best finishing moves in the history of wrestling? From the Stone Cold Stunner to the People's Elbow, the history of finishing moves is filled with fascinating facts and behind the scenes stories you can miss the second one on the list. Join us as we explore the secrets behind some of the most iconic finishing moves in the industry. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting wrestling content. Let's get started with the number 10. Spot number 10 to Sharpshooter. When Bret Hart took the Sori Gatami and turned it into the Sharpshooter, it became his signature move. No one could break out of it. However, in his book, Bret Hart revealed that The Undertaker was the first to successfully escape the hold. It was a moment that shocked Boa. Bret and the fans of the escape was so unexpected that it added to the legend of The Undertaker solidifying the status of one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Even after all these years, the story of The Undertaker's escape from the Sharpshooter Shooter is still talked about by fans and wrestlers alike. Number 9, Dudley Death Drop, the art of a well executed finisher. Seems to have been lost over time with many moves getting kicked out multiple times in a single match. However, there was a time when a finisher signaled the end of a match and the crowd would go wild as the move was executed to perfection, resulting in a three count victory. This is why finishing moves like the Dudley Death Drop and the One are held in such high esteem as they are protected and rarely kicked out of bully. Rayon busted open and stressed the importance of protecting finishing moves. He even recounted the one time that the three was kicked out when Dean 3 wanted to put over the Motor City machine guns in TN. Number 8 Stone Cold Stunner The journey to becoming Stone Cold Steve Austin wasn't easy after working his way up in various wrestling promotions. Austin found himself in the WAF as the ringmaster and gimmick that just wasn't cutting it. It wasn't until Michael Hayes suggested he try a movement famous by Johnny is the ace crusher the Stone Cold started to find his group but Austin knew he needed to it something extra and that's when he added the kick to the gut to set up the move with that. The Stone Cold Stunner was born a finishing move that would become iconic in wrestling history. Number 7 DDD in the realm of professional wrestling, finishing moves are everything they can make or break a wrestler's career, leaving an indelible mark on the sports history. And while some finishers are intentionally created to be iconic, others are stumbled upon accidentally, as was the case with Jake Roberts's legendary DDD. As the story goes, during a match with a journeyman wrestler, Jake found himself in a front face lock when his opponent accidentally stepped on his foot to tumble to the man, and the DDD was born. And while the move has since become more of a transition of maneuver its legacy is one of the most memorable finishers of all time lives on number six the claymore kick when drew mcintyre was still part of thrym he was known for his flamboyant attire that included type cleaver pants one day while attempting a high kick mcintyre slipped and fell over but in a stroke of luck he managed to land a kick with such force that it became the inspiration for one of the most devastating finishers in we history the claymore kick mcintyre's accidental innovation turn had to be a stroke of genius and the move quickly became Came his signature, helping him to become one of the most dominant and fierce superstars in the Wii. Number 5, The People's Elbow. The rock signature move, The People's Elbow, may have seemed silly, but it was actually a genius way to get the crowd involved as the rocks exit across the ring. Everyone was on the edge of their seats waiting for the elbow drop. However, not many people know that the People's Elbow was originally meant as a joke on the Undertaker to rock, used the move to try to make the dead man break. Character during house shows the move may have started as a prank but it quickly became one of the most iconic finishing moves in wrestling history. Number 4. For nearly the decade Shawn Michaels had been fine tuning his moves in the ring. Whilst reaching music has become iconic, it wasn't always his go to finish in. Move Michaels initially used it as a setup for the teardrop suplex but he soon realized the power behind the super kick once he knocked out his opponent. With it there was no point in picking them back up for a suplex the logical choice was to go for the pin instead and with that sweet chimney music became one of the most devastating finishing moves in Wii history. Number 3. Diamond Cutter The Diamond Cutter is one of the most devastating moves in wrestling history, and its impact has been felt even in the present day with Randy Jordan and Matt Riddle using it to take down their opponents. However, the move wasn't always associated with Diamond Dallas Page in fact for a time the pedigree was using the Diamond Cutter as Triple H's finishing move, but when Page caught wind of it, he made a phone call to Helmsley and convinced him to let him have the move back and the rest as they say is history. 
number just got hauled the razor's edge. Scott Hall was known for having one of the sharpest minds in the wrestling business. He understood the importance of a finisher and how it could make or break a match. That's why he was so adamant about protecting the razors. Edge at Sider's Edge, he never wanted to use it unless he was going to win the match. It wasn't about his ego, it was about the integrity of the move and its impact. Hall knew that if he didn't protect it, the move would lose its credibility and become just another ordinary move and that was something he refused to let happen. Number one, although Brock Lesnar's skills as a wrestler are undeniable, it's interesting to note that he may have taken inspiration from an unexpected source. Mark Barra, the former wild man, underwent a transformation to become the marvelous one and along with the new look in the form of fight shorts, he also adopted a finishing move that is strikingly similar to Lesnar's fit mirrors. Cohen, let's not forget that both Sable and Mero use variations of the code. During their careers, of course, it's probably best to keep this observation to ourselves as I doubt Brock would appreciate the comparison and that's it. I wrote rap on 10 hidden details you never noticed for these wrestling finishers. We hope you enjoyed this dive into the fascinating world of pro wrestling and learned something new about your favorite finishers. But hey, we want to hear from you. Did we miss any hidden details or do you have a favorite finisher that you think deserves more attention? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. We've got more pro wrestling videos coming your way, so stay tuned and keep on watching and subscribe our channel, The King of Wrestling. Enjoy the content. Give us a thumbs up to show your support. If our videos bring a smile to your face or ignite your curiosity, hitting that like button helps us know we're on the right track. Sharing is caring if you found value, entertainment, or inspiration in what we create. Consider sharing our channel with your friends and family. Let's spread the positivity together. Don't miss out on future dates. Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay connected. Join our community for more exciting content coming your way. Your support means the world to us.